Hello from Universal Studios. Today I came here with the intention of doing the horror show, but I made it too late, so it already started. Instead, I am going to try to set, ride some single rider uh, lines, so let's go see what we can get onto today. Alright, so I just got off the mummy and the single rider line. The wait said 40 minutes, so you, I put my stuff in a walker and uh, got in line and then the line was outside so it was hot and sunny, not shaded. And then I got up to where the single rider, single rider line, follow the red arrows, once you get inside it's very dark, very, very dimly lit and uh, almost bumped into a couple of things because coming out from the bright sun and then into that almost complete darkness is like kind of hard to find your way around. But then literally one minute later, I was on the ride. So single rider, the way to do it. I'm going to do my favorite today because Today is going to be my last day for a long time until the fall of coming to the parks solo because today is my kids' last day of school. So I'm going to ride the rides that I want to since they're not here with me. So I'm going to walk on over to Islands of Adventure and ride a couple of my favorite ones over there. And no, I am not riding Rip Ride Rocket today. This ride scares me to death. I've only ridden it one time. <laughs> I just hate that very beginning where you go straight up. It scares me to death. Can't do it. So let's walk on over to Islands of Adventure and see if we can get a single rider on the hall and maybe Velocicoaster. We'll see. The walkway is currently closed. So we're gonna have to walk around the long way. It is a beautiful day outside today. And as usual, I don't have a whole lot of time because it's time to pick up the kids. If you are new to this channel, my name is Heather, Sunshine and Family Time, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Tomorrow, we have something really special planned for our kids since today is their last day of school. We're going to take a little trip tomorrow, wake up super early, and take a little trip. So stay tuned for where we end up taking them for their out of school celebration. I'm gonna try to 
walk over to the Velocicoaster now and do the single rider for that one. So we'll see if I can actually do it or not because I really should be leaving in a half hour to go get my kids. So, so far the single rider line seems to be the way to go and honestly it's even faster than using my express after four. It basically gets you like right on. So, let's go walk over to the Velocicoaster. Single riders. Thank you. Right. I made it. I'm in the single rider line. It is 118. We'll see how fast I can get through the line. They have all these plastic barriers up. There's the raptors. Oh, we're here. Hello. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so there was um, a little bit longer to go through the line. Um, I got in line at 118, and it is now 152, and I just got off of the ride. There was some difficulties, and so it took a little bit longer to go through than expected, but that is also to be expected because it is technical rehearsal. So now I am going to be rushing to go pick up the kids from school, but I got to ride it. <laughs> that was my second time riding the Velocicoaster, guys. So now nah, let's rush to the exit. All right, so as I am speed walking to the parking garage to get to my car, I'll tell you really quick about the single rider uh, lines that I went in today. So the first one was the Mummy at Universal, and uh, it starts out uh, together with everybody, and then you just follow the red arrows to the single rider line, and you go right in. It's very dark inside, and then basically you miss all the queue. You get right on the next ride was the Hulk, which leads in the free lockers, and then you go through the metal detectors and you get right in the line. You miss the queue, which inside is really nothing to see anyways for the Hulk, and basically get right on. I wanted to talk about the single rider for the Veloc Velocicoaster, and um, so the single rider is to the very right. Uh, you just walk straight on through um, past those raptors and then you turn right and right there's the lockers and uh, so you skip all of the uh, long queue from the regular ride uh, so I put all of my things in the locker and went through the metal detector went up the stairs got in there and then announcements came on saying that they were having some difficulties this was only the second time that I have ever ridden the Velocicoaster so the first time was for pass holder preview and my husband and I uh, were able to get on the third row from the front and it was amazing and scary. And then this time by myself in single rider line, I got the very back row and oh my goodness, it was amazing. Got a lot of airtime. There was one time during the ride that I seriously was afraid, scared, but it was fantastic. And um, I can't wait to ride it over and over and over again. It was a really fun, fast day. So I was able to ride those three things by myself in just a couple hours time. We have some things planned coming up that we're going to be doing that's really fun. Stay tuned uh, and don't forget to subscribe with bell notifications for upcoming videos. And now it's your family time. Bye.